One of the best ways to build your ultimate team is to use squad builder challenges. This is a way in which you can increase your coin balance, get better players and just have a more enjoyable time. And in today's video, we're going to be going through the correct way to grind SBCs. But before we do that, with SBCs, you need players. And with players, sometimes you're going to need coins and there is no better place than you for GM. They offer cheap, fast and reliable FC24 coins so that you don't need to grind. If you're interested, there is a link in the description down below. And if you use Fnatic, you'll also be able to get yourself a 5% discount. Thank you U4GM for sponsoring today's video. It may seem simple to grind SBCs, just complete as many as you can, except not every single SBC is created equal. And there are a few things that you should be doing, which will make life a hell of a lot easier. Now, with the SBCs that are there, they are laid out in the same way, in that there is a certain reward, whether that be a pack, player, or something else, but in order for you to get that reward, you need to complete the challenge. Some of these challenges are more difficult than others, except there's a very easy way, and that is by looking at the SBCs that have been completed over on a site such as Footbin. Now, most Ultimate Team databases do include something like this, but in my opinion, Footbin ends up being the best. This is where they use AI as well as other people within the community will submit to their completed teams, which can be used and fit the requirements for each and every single challenge that is included within SBCs. This will make life a hell of a lot easier. With all of that in mind, let's actually go through the correct way to complete SBCs. Now, SBCs in my mind are broken down into two categories ones in which you can make profit from every single time they're almost guaranteed and others where it acts as a drain in that you're unlikely to make any profit but in return you'll get a player that you can constantly use now with the guaranteed profit ones these types of SBCs are your foundation SBCs advanced SBCs such as hybrid leagues hybrid nations and league and nation hybrid you also have marquee matchups your upgrades being bronze silver gold EA will occasionally release rating upgrades whether it be 78 plus 80 plus 81 plus 83 plus 85 plus and they may even go higher there will also be occasions where you get an upgrade SBC, which will give you a specific type of player, whether it be heroes, icons, or connected to some other promo. And then we also have premium upgrades, which are still bronze, silver, and gold, except you can submit the exact same team as before, except you get a much better reward at the end. On the other side of this, the ones which are likely to take coins away, this is your player of the months, any types of players connected to promos, icons, heroes, and those that end up giving club items. You are not likely to make profit from these, although there is still a chance because most of the time you will be given a pack reward for completing an individual challenge. This pack is unlikely to be good. However, due to this being ultimate team, there's always a chance. But just know if you were to go through every single player SBC and every single club item SBC, over time, you are guaranteed to lose coins. So with all of this in mind, with those which are guaranteed to give coins, no matter what they are, you should always be going through them. Complete everything that is there already, but on a weekly basis, go through all of your marquee matchups. They are boring, they're not what they used to be, but even if you have no players in your club and you need to buy every single one for that challenge, it's still likely that you're going to make a profit. Worst case scenario, you're going to break even and it's still worth going through. Your player SBCs on the other hand comes down to a choice. Most people complete these. They get excited. They have that FOMO or fear of missing out. They jump in, complete it. The player ends up being horrible, absolutely terrible within game. They never use them again. And then they got an 87 rated plus special card where they spent 100,000 coins, maybe even more, and they are not using. So when it comes down to player SBCs, it's worth making the decision of whether or not they fit within your main team that you're currently using, whether or not they're overpowered within game, whether or not you can complete them for cheap, and whether or not they have sentimental value. If you're going through all four of those options and it ticks the box for none of them, it's a player that you should probably miss out on. 
just as a quick little story, I originally wasn't going to go for a player of the month for Madison. He originally didn't fit into my team. I haven't got any sentimental value around him and I wasn't able to complete him for cheap because it was a start of ultimate team. However, every single opponent I faced who had Madison would always get at least one goal with him. That was very annoying. And as time went on, my team changed to the point of where Madison would fit. And on top of that, I was able to build up my club with loads of untradeable players for me to then complete Madison for free. At that point, it was a no brainer. So I completed it. And now, even if I get to a point of where he no longer fits my team, I don't use him anymore. It should still be the case where I make a profit on him. And that was still a good investment. He's still currently within my team. He's played about 20 games, scored quite a few goals, being a big player, certainly improved. So I should continue to use him. And because he is a player of the month with a decent rating, worst case scenario, some point down the line, I can throw him into an SPC, either giving me a pack or another player. And that's how you need to look at it. One way in which I was able to go and complete Madison for free was actually by using a bronze pack method. I would use this quite a bit whenever I have some free time. It's nothing too crazy, just a few minutes every now and then. To open bronze packs, sell the players within those packs that do sell, store everyone else to my club, and for the players that I do store to my club, gradually upgrade them. They go from bronze players to silver players, silver players to common gold, and common gold to rare gold. Not to mention, with all of those qualities, they can go over into other types of challenges, depending whether or not they actually fit. A lot of the bronze players that I've been able to pack have also been used to complete all the foundation SBCs. Another thing that you can do this year to put you further ahead, and I haven't seen this done as of yet, but we know 100% that there is the opportunity to do this. But as you upgrade players through evolutions, you will be able to use those for SBCs, depending on who you upgrade. So far, there hasn't been a 1000 plus IQ play where someone's been able to complete a challenge extremely cheap because instead of going for the player that EA intended, they went for someone else, upgraded them into evolutions to get the exact same rating and then submit that instead. But we know that that is certainly the case and certainly an option that you can go through. We also don't know whether or not at some point this year EA is going to have that crossover where an SBC requires you to go and submit a player that's already gone through evolutions. That will certainly be something interesting and there's already been a lot of speculation that this could happen at some point in the future but that is still speculation. One thing that we know for sure is that of course by evolving players it increases their rating and that rating can help you go through SBCs. Speaking of helping you go through SBCs, this is where you should also be investing whenever players are cheap. There's this cycle that we go through where an SBC releases and as it releases there's a lot of demand because there's a lot of demand for it. There's a lot of demand for these types of players to be included, normally high rated players and those player prices increase. Once that SBC expires, the player prices go down because no longer that demand is there. So whenever those players are next at their lowest, you're going to buy one of each, one of each and store them to your club. That way, once another SBC releases at some point in the future, and that is guaranteed to happen, you then have a choice. Do you sell all of those players on that you bought for profit, or do you go and use them to complete the challenge for a fraction of the price compared to everyone else. This doesn't just apply to high rated players. Another thing that you can do is invest on a weekly basis with team of the week players. And this is for two reasons. Firstly, they can also be required for some of these challenges in which if you have them, you could do what we said in that previous step, sell them on for profit or go and complete the challenge for cheap. The second reason is as time goes on, people will continuously use these team of the weeks to complete challenges. And upon doing that, because there is no consistent source for these players, as they're only available within packs for one week, it means that these players get extremely rare. Now we got the opposite situation where demand may stay the exact same, but supply reduces. So therefore, their price does increase. And just to show that this does work, you can actually go back into every ultimate team. No exaggeration, the databases that we have out there, Footwears, Footbin, they do show previous ultimate teams. You can check the very first team in a week. And if you were to go and look at every single player, 
you will see that they do increase. But with absolutely everything that we've talked about in this video, even though we've gone through guaranteed profit, ways in which you can invest, ways in which you can stop yourself from losing coins and also be efficient with your player SBCs, it's still not the best way. The best way hasn't happened as of yet. I know, disappointing. But we can prepare. This is if EA releases any content such as icon swaps, any tokens or anything of a similar type. If you're unaware of what these are, quite simply, EA will release challenges, whether this be SBCs or challenges as part of objectives. And by completing these, instead of being rewarded with a great pack or a great player, you're going to get a 60 rated player who acts as a token. Now, you don't want to use this player within your main team because they are awful. But you do want to collect as many of these as possible because a new tab will open up under SBCs and it'll be called swaps. And as time goes on and you keep on collecting these tokens, eventually you can redeem them for various rewards. And these rewards are insane. Even if you were to collect just a few of these tokens, you can redeem it for a 10 times 80 plus rated player pack. And that's just for collecting a few. If you were to collect 10, 20, 30, 40, maybe even more depending on what type of content EA has in store, you can get some insane packs where it's 10 times 85 plus player packs, or maybe even more than that. You also have players on offer, and depending on the promo, it could be icons, could be heroes, it could be connected to another promo. But these are high rated players, talking 90 plus. And all you need to do is play the game. You just need to complete the challenges. You don't even need to put in a penny because most of the time these challenges are very easy. It's not even to win a certain amount of games in the elite division. It will be play games in squad battles, score a certain amount of goals with this nationality, score a certain amount of goals with this league. Very simple stuff. Because you don't need to pay anything in order to complete these, it is 100% profit. So whenever they do happen, make sure that you go through it. But this is everything that you need to know about SBCs all the ways in which you can lose coins so hopefully you can avoid those and all the ways in which you can make coins so that you can double down. If you enjoyed this video then you'll definitely enjoy our next video which goes through the correct way to grind moments. I hope you enjoy.